Israel has one of the most technologically advanced missile arsenals in the Middle East. The Jericho 3 is the first Israeli intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBM. It is a further development of the Jericho 1 short-range ballistic missile SRBM and Jericho 2 medium-range ballistic missile MRBM. It is also believed to share technology with the Shabbat Space Launch Vehicle. The Jericho 3 is known to be 15.5 meters in length and 1.56 meters in diameter and is estimated to weigh 30 kilogram, while the Jericho I and Jericho 2 are both uniformly cylindrical in shape. The Jericho 3 first and second stages are very different in diameter. Both the first and second stage have small fins for drag stabilization and possibly for maneuvering purposes. It employs inertial guidance, while the final stage with the warhead is radar guided. The warhead is not believed to be particularly accurate compared to those of the ICBMs employed by the superpowers with an estimated set of 1-0 meter. The range of the Jericho 3 is substantial, encompassing the entirety of the Middle East, Europe, Africa, Asia, and most of North America, South America, and North Oceania. As such, the Jericho 3 enables the Israel Defense Forces IDF, to launch a nuclear warhead into almost any location on Earth at relatively closer range targets. The re-entry velocity is such that the Jericho 3 is believed to be largely immune to all operational missile defense systems. The warhead of this missile is estimated to weigh 1-0 kilogram, and conventional, biological, chemical, and nuclear warheads are believed to exist, though the full range of warhead options are impossible to confirm due to the secretive nature of the IDF Missile Command. Some sources report that yield of the Jericho 3's nuclear warhead is approximately 20 kD. Though a yield this small by modern ICBM standard, it is arguably capable of causing significant damage to a modern battlefield or city. It is sufficient for the purpose of a nuclear deterrent. The Jericho 3 is known to be silo-based, though some sources claim that it may have a road mobile version. The land-based silos are claimed to be virtually invulnerable to nuclear attack. Though it entered service in 2008, the Jericho 3 was not declared operational until 2011. The first test launch is believed to have occurred in January 2008, with a motor test in the following February. Several additional test launches have been reported, including one in July of 2013. In 2011, an upgraded version of the Jericho 3 was tested. The success rate of the Jericho 3 in both launching and guidance is unknown. The cost and numbers of the Jericho 3 are classified, though it is likely that the development costs associated with this missile have precluded the IDF from fielding as many as with the preceding Jericho series missiles. Thanks for watching this video friends please subscribe our channel.